Imagine this. You spend hours generating strategies in StrategyQuant X. You finally find one that looks perfect. The equity curve goes straight up, the drawdown is tiny, and you can already picture the profits. But then you put it on a demo account, and within a week it's losing money. What happened? Well, chances are, you've made one of the five most common mistakes people make in StrategyQuant X. Let's go through them, and I'll show you how to avoid them. Mistake one, using too little data or just one data set. Here's a classic story. Someone tests their strategy on just the last year of data. And guess what? It looks amazing because it only saw one type of market condition, one data set or one market data. But markets change. Sometimes they trend, sometimes they range, sometimes they explode in volatility. If your strategy hasn't been tested across all of these environments, it's like teaching a student only one exam question. The moment the test changes, they fail. The fix? Always use long histories, 10, 20 years if possible. Also, test different markets or time frames. Give your strategy the full exam, not just one question. Mistake two, ignoring robustness. Another trap is falling in love with a perfect backtest. It looks too good to be true because it usually is. Think of it like a bodybuilder on Instagram. Perfect lighting, perfect angles. But in real life, not so impressive. That's what a strategy looks like without robustness testing. If you skip Monte Carlo, walk forward or randomization, you're only looking at the perfect angle. The fix? Stress test it, shake it. If it still performs well under pressure, then you might have something real. Test with strict costs, different parameters, and use robustness tests. Mistake three, overcomplicating the rules. I once saw a strategy with 10 different indicators, multiple conditions, and a logic tree so big it looked like a family tree. The result? Curve fitting at its finest. The more rules you add, the more you're just adapting to the past, not predicting the future. The truth is, the best strategies are often simple, one or two conditions, logical, easy to understand, and robust across markets and data sets. Remember, complexity doesn't equal strength. Sometimes less really is more. Mistake four, wrong broker or data settings. Here's one that's crucial. Imagine building a killer strategy only to find out it dies instantly when you trade it live. Why? Because your backtest assumed a spread of zero, but your broker charges you two pips, or you forgot about the commission, or your broker runs on a different GMT time zone. It's like training for a marathon at sea level and then running it on a mountain. The reality is completely different. The fix is simple. Set up the right broker profile. Match the spread, commissions, and trading hours to your actual broker. Don't train for sea level if you're racing in the mountains. Mistake five, chasing the holy grail. And finally, the dream of the one perfect system. So many traders believe if they just let strategy quant run long enough, they'll find the magical equity curve that never loses. But here's the hard truth. There is no holy grail. One strategy will never be enough. Instead, think like an investor. Build a portfolio, diversify across instruments, timeframes and approaches. One system may fail in a certain condition, but the others carry you through. The fix? Stop looking for perfection. Start building stability of the portfolio edges. So, those are the five most common mistakes in strategy quant X and how to avoid them. If you've fallen into one of these traps before, don't worry, everyone does at first. The key is to recognize it, adjust and keep improving. Want to dive deeper? I've put links in the description where you can learn more, test robust strategies, and even join our community to share ideas. Because at the end of the day, Strategy Quant X isn't just about generating systems. It's about building something that really works in the future. Let me know in the comments what topics you'd like to see in future videos. And if you like this one, don't forget to hit subscribe so you won't miss what's coming next. Happy trading and see you in the next video.